Hello YouTubers, I'm Parvez and this is our 31st video in PySite 2 GUI development. So in the previous video we have learned that we can draw different shapes in PySite 2. So this is from the previous video. Uh, in this video we are going to learn that how you can uh, print your clock system time in PySite 2. So I've already created my window code, so this is just a simple code. Uh, these are my imports, I need a queue application and also uh, also, I'm going to use, uh, let me change this, queue dialog, so queue dialog. And uh, this is my class window that then extends from queue dialog. This is the title for the window, this is the geometry. And here I need to show my window. And this is the place that uh, uh, we are going to create the application of uh, the object of queue application because every PySite 2 application needs to create an uh, object of queue application. This is, uh, and here we have created the object of our uh, window class and this is our loop. So now let me just run this. Uh, this is just a simple window that I have. Uh, you can see that a small window because uh, uh, the, width and height wind the width and height window is, uh, the width is 200 and also the height is 100. So, and this is the X and Y position of the window. Now, let's create, uh, so we're using uh, QLCD for this purpose. Uh, we need to import this uh, QLCD number. So, after this, uh, now in here I'm going to create a method. I'm going to call it show clock. And uh, in here we need to uh, so also I'm using a VBox layout, vertical box layout, so we need to import QVBox layout in here. First create the object of your VBox layout and after creating of the VBox layout we need to create the object of QLCD number, so QLCD number. Uh, after this we need to add our this LCD uh, in our VBox layout, so we are going to just say VBox dot add widget, and we are going to add our LCD in the vertical box layout. Uh, after this, we need to create a time, so we need to get the current time. Uh, for that, we need to import Qt Q time from Qt Core, so we can just say from uh, PySci2 dot Qt Core import Q time. And uh, time Q time, uh, and we are going to get the current time. So after this, we need to uh, set the format for the time. So dot. Also, we need to convert that to a string, and this is the format hour and also minute and at the end we need to display our LCD so LCD dot display and uh, we want to display this time in the LCD so we need to add the text in here at the end you need to set your layout so for the main window so self dot set layout and we need to add our vertical box layout in here like this so after doing this now we need to create our timer because we need to connect the timeout signal of the timer with the show clock method that we have created so for this the first thing you need you need to import q timer uh, like this So we're going to create a queue timer object in here and after creating of the timer so uh, now we need to just uh, uh, so we didn't need to decide thing we're going to just say timer dot timeout so the timeout is a signal for the timer now this timeout signal uh, for the timer signal we need to connect this with the show clock method that we have already created. So 
now we can uh, say time out and uh, dot connect and we are going to just say cell dot show clock and uh, after that you need to just start your timer uh, we can just say timer dot start and we are going to give 1000 milliseconds and after that we are going to just call our show clock method in here so this is the code and let me just uh, run this okay now you can see that this is our uh, system clock time uh, now you can uh, give for example if you want you can give uh, uh, you can change the color of the text uh, for that uh, we are going to just say LCD dot set style sheet and for the color we are going to just give green and uh, if you run this you can see that, uh, that yeah now you can see that the color is green uh, also you can change the background color so set style sheet and we are going to just give background and for the background color we are going to give yellow so now we are going to run this and uh, now you can see that the background color is changed to yellow so like this you can uh, work with QLCD number and also you can print uh, your uh, clock system uh, I will add the source code to the video description you can just check my blog uh, codeloop.org and you can get the source code from there uh, if you have any question, please let me know. For the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.